We're at the Research Library of the San Diego Natural History Museum with the director of the library, Margie Dykins, and volunteer, Bob Cherry. They're going to show us the museum's rare BN chromolithograph edition of John James Audubon's The Birds of America, the double elephant folio created by Audubon between 1827 and 1833. The museum's edition was published in 1860, after Audubon's death. This precious book is kept in a temperature-controlled room with over 100 pages that measure 39 by 26 inches and a thick leather cover. It's very heavy and needs several people just to lift it and turn the pages. Audubon was a French-American ornithologist, naturalist, hunter, and painter. He painted, cataloged, and described the birds of North America in a form far superior to anything previously done. Attempting to paint one page a day, Audubon took over 14 years of field observations and drawings to complete The Birds of America, which is regarded as the greatest picture book ever produced. Audubon's original folio contains scientific descriptions and paintings of over 700 bird species, each drawn and painted life-size. Always handled with white gloves, the museum's edition contains paintings of over 150 bird species. Audubon meticulously painted his birds in their natural habitat, with as much attention given to the plants as to the birds. He often painted both male and female, and frequently included a predator. The most famous plate in the folio is this magnificent wild turkey, which Audubon considered one of the most interesting indigenous birds. The turkey was also Benjamin Franklin's first choice for the national bird of the United States but it lost out to the bald eagle. And unfortunately for the gobbler, it became instead the symbol for the biggest gobbling event of the year, Thanksgiving. <laughs>